Hello and welcome to Darfall. This is what it would be like if you crossed a game like Warcraft 3 with a city builder with all the mechanics that surround that. In my opinion, an extremely addictive and enjoyable experience. If you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. Let's go and start a new game and we're going to be doing this. This is obviously just the demo. You can play the demo right now as well. You can play up to day six. And by day six, your base will be destroyed by undead invasions corrupting this land. So let's try to do a little bit better than that, shall we? Anyway, this game runs in real time. So you, you well, it does, it does have instant pause, as you can see right there, thanks to that tip. But yes, it has instant pause. You can uh, zoom ahead if you want to, uh, but generally it runs in real time. And you can also have this guy, which is the Archmage, and you're going to be leveling the Archmage up as fast as you can so i'm actually just going to go off somewhere with my archmage and we're just going to go and attack some things and that's what we're going to try here so there we go we're just going to attack some stuff we're just going to do the tutorial as well of course because that is what we are supposed to do it's going to give us some nice little pointers here as well and that's going to be kind of useful um now obviously a good thing for us to do actually is to um actually try to gather a, a little bit of wood and we can actually gather wood with our archmage at the very start and this actually is going to make a huge difference in general this is going to make a massive massive difference to everything so we're just going to do a nice little wood cutting base round about here i think that seems like a pretty decent location for it and our um, our worker is going to be coming out relatively soon. As you can see, we built a woodcutter right there. Let's just go out here with our archmage and um, actually just get a little bit more wood. Oh, oh, there is an orc mace man. Okay, we've got to be a bit careful about that. Orc mace men are actually pretty harsh. So I'm not sure if we're actually even going to be able to do anything against this guy. I'm going to go over to the werewolf, actually. I think that's probably going to be a little bit better for us. So yeah, as you can see, our worker is now doing its thing. And we can also do um, a little bit more. Maybe we can get another worker as well. Yeah, we can. Got to be careful about the orc, though. Oh, the orc is actually attacking us. Oh, that is really bad. Okay, I was actually hoping that he wouldn't. Oh, that was really close. Okay, my archmage is almost dead. Um, yeah, so this is actually super, super bad. Because the <laughs> the orc is not supposed to do this. Oh no, this is terrible. Okay, the only thing I can do is just kind of do damage. Oh, the orc is actually running away from us now. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, great. Okay, Whew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, so we're basically just going to be building a bunch of houses doesn't really matter where we build them we're just going to build them randomly for now and we're just going to heal ourselves there is a healing aura around your main town center so obviously we're just going to do that and i'm then going to be placing another worker on this wood cutting little area here we're going to try and do some damage to the orc i don't know whether we're going to be able to defeat him to be honest we are low on food as well we need to build a vegetable farm of course but i'm going to need wood to be able to do that so that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an issue for us. But I'm going to move into our healing radius here because that's more than likely going to keep me alive, or at least it should. The vegetable farm does need to be close by to our keep. So I'm going to try to make sure that that is exactly where it is. There we go. Somewhere, somewhere around there. It doesn't really matter. And um, yeah, obviously, as you can see, thanks to this little tip here, your units do need food and that is going to be extremely important for us to do so yeah apart from that we also need to build a quarry a quarry is going to require 100 wood which is going to be very important for us so i'm actually going to be taking my archmage and doing a little bit of gathering with him so that we can actually do a little bit more here okay so we should probably get another worker and then we're going to assign the worker to this vegetable farm over here and the wonderful wonderful thing about this game is that generally the worker AI is very reactive. It doesn't take long for your units to do anything in particular. They are always going to react to you needing something done very, very fast. They're not going to be lazy. They're not going to be slow. It's going to actually be rather refreshing to see that kind of thing. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Otherwise, we've just got to be a little bit careful about our woodcutting little area there being attacked. Uh, yeah, and also this is the reason why I called it, um, I called it like Warcraft 3 a little bit, 
because you run around with a hero and you fight with this hero, you level up the hero, you gain skills that you can actually use MOBA style or Warcraft 3 style. And as you can see, I've now leveled up. Perfect timing. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to spec into Fireball here. And now I'm going to be able to use Fireball against this rat to finish it off. There we go. Fantastic. And we are almost having 100 wood, which is very nice. So hopefully we'll be able to do something like that. I'm going to get another worker actually, just so we can, you know, get that going. And we are going to need some storage areas as well. Unfortunately, I don't have any storage right now uh let me see is there anywhere any uh, can i actually play storage right now yeah i need 100 wood to be able to play storage unfortunately which is not enough so yeah we're just gonna go for a quarry straight away then there's the quarry right there and we're gonna need another wood cutting base as well another wood cutting base is going to be very important for us so i'm going to probably get another worker let's get another worker summoned here We've got low food, but that's absolutely fine because as long as we have a vegetable farm here and as long as we have people actually working, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's get uh, one person, uh, two people actually on that. And yeah, I actually already used a spell, but it doesn't realize that I've done that. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to go over to this little rat base here and we're going to use... We're going to use something we're going to use uh, this and uh, we, we can also destroy various structures as well oh yes now here's the thing apart from you being able to explore the world in daytime there is also a nighttime as you might have expected from the top of the screen here you can see the daytime hours and the nighttime hours so here's the thing you're going to get attacked by undead minions they're going to be raised up from the ground and they are going to try and murder you and in the meantime, you have to try and get as strong as possible to be able to survive these various encounters. If you can survive these encounters, then you're going to be in an extremely good position. Unfortunately, right now for me, I'm having some uh, pretty big issues not getting any items. That's a bit of a problem, but I, I guess that's a problem for future me, not a, not a problem for me right now. But... It kind of is, I guess. Anyway, we can obviously get a road if we want to. I don't think we're going to get a road right now. I don't think that's particularly necessary. Let's try and attack this thing right here. Just going to try and get as much experience as possible because that's going to be extremely useful for us when we go into a nighttime scenario. And we're going, we're going into a nighttime scenario right now. I'm actually going to try and see if I can get... Um, some lamps up as well. Lamps actually do require charcoal. So that's obviously going to be a pretty important thing. But yeah, there we go. We've finally done that. So let's get a lamp round about here right next to the woodcutter. It does cost 50 wood for us to actually get that, which is really, really harsh, actually. I did already build a lamp. Or it's, it's actually going to be built relatively soon. So yeah, here's the thing. Warriors are weaker and workers are slower in the nighttime. So that is the reason why you very, very badly want to try and do something to improve your speed. I'm actually going to be putting a road round about here so that my people can actually use that to go from the woodcutter all the way to our keep because I don't have a storage area at the moment. I personally feel like the storage area is a little bit too expensive for what it is, but it is extremely important. So maybe that's the reason why it is that expensive, you know. And bear in mind, obviously, this is a demo, so of course things can change. So one thing we want to do also is we want to make sure that our Archmage is actually relatively close by to some of our workers because our Archmage actually provides a buff called Inspiration to our people, to our units and everything. And that is actually going to do a uh, pretty significant thing. It's actually going to increase the worker speed. It's going to increase their working speed and maybe even their movement speed as well. I'm actually not entirely sure about that. But whatever the case, we do have another lamp available here. So we're going to be placing one. We actually do need lamps, as you might expect. Lamps are actually going to be really important later down the line because when enemies are in the light, I believe they do get a little bit more... Um, well, they get, they get a little bit weaker potentially. So what we also want to do is we want to try to make it so that our housing situation is spread out throughout our little outpost here because here's the thing later on down the line you're going to get attacked by many 
many undead minions. You're gonna have some issues with that. You're gonna have some issues with that, especially on day uh, day five and the night time after that. It's gonna be very, very tricky. So that's obviously something to bear in mind. Anyway, I'm gonna just try and see if we can, um, I, think, I think we're done with the defense. I don't think there's actually any other enemies that come here. Ah, there's one. Okay, fantastic. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna attack here with a little bit of fireball. We should be perfectly fine. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten any items yet. As I said before, you can actually get items from uh, from enemies randomly. As I said, uh, did I say that actually? But this is con completely procedurally generated as well, by the way. This is completely random and uh, you have no idea what kind of map you're going to be going into. So it is extremely addictive because you have no idea what is going to happen and things... Uh, it can just come out at you and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, we're just going to continue attacking here. There we go. That guy's very dead again because obviously he's undead. And um, yeah, otherwise, apart from that, we will eventually get to a point where we can summon our own units or we can we can train our own units. And that will then enable us to uh, gain units like um, we're going to gain units like barbarians, berserkers, archers, and even paladins as well. If we have access to silver, which I think we will probably gain access to at some point or another, then uh, silver will enable us to make silver armor, which is a requirement to be able to get the uh the paladins and they are going to be extremely powerful they're basically the the most powerful unit you can get in the game so uh yeah or, or at the very least they are the most defensive unit available so i'm very much looking forward to that oh hello i got an iron blade look at that wonderful we actually got an item that's what's well, that's really nice okay so yeah now it's dawn i don't think i really need to do anything else here so i think i'm actually going to be making my way out of the settlement and we're just going to be making our way out here and we're just going to attack some stuff there we go so we're just going to attack this guy hopefully i'm going to level up soon yeah no we're going to be taking quite a while to level up unfortunately as you can see right here this is my level up speed right now we are currently level three very far away from where we want to be unfortunately but it's all right it's all right Anyway, I'm going to be building a, another vegetable farm here. Actually, uh, can I increase my growth rate by building it near here? No, no. You can only build in the lighted area as well, by the way. So that's something to bear in mind. We're just going to build another vegetable farm right here. As I said before, I think it's actually kind of necessary for us to have at least two so that we can continue to build workers without having any kind of food problems. Because food problems are, the, are really the least of, of your worries. You really do not want food problems. All right, so I'm going to go for a healing circle here because that's kind of useful as well. It does heal you over time. Although, to be fair, I actually think that leveling up your fireball spell is maybe one of the most important things you can do because it does so much damage over time. It really is super, super useful. All right, so uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea for me to get a wheat farm as well. So we're gonna go and do that because a wheat farm is amazing. It is very, very good. And we're going to need a bakery. So we need planks and stone bricks. And to do that, what do we need? Oh yes, we need a stone mason and we need a carpenter and we need wood and stone for that. And so that means that what I will need to do is I'll need another woodcutter and obviously a woodcutter is going to be relatively simple for us to do. Bear in mind by the way that if you are wanting to step regular units onto this grayed out corrupted land they're going to take damage from that just so you know. Yes they're going to get poisoned by the corrupted land and you have to be careful with that. So it's a good idea to you know, just be a little bit careful, you know, just make sure that they, that they don't step on it too much. You know, you can take them on there, but they are going to take some heavy damage, so just bear that in mind. Anyway, let's just make our way back to our little keep here, and I'm going to be building another woodcutting base relatively soon. I'm actually going to go and get some wood uh, from this tree over here, because obviously, as you can tell, there are uh, very limited resources all over the place as well so you really do not want to set up camp in two places like for example you don't want to have a woodcutter in the same exact place because that's literally just going to be counterintuitive it's just going to 
depreciate the area that much faster. I feel like the daytime is way too short as well, even though it actually isn't. It actually isn't short, but I feel like it's short. You know what I mean? It's one of those problems, isn't it? Okay, so we can actually repair all the damaged structures as well by clicking this little button down here, which is actually really nice. And otherwise, apart from that, we almost have enough for another woodcutting base. And I'm actually going to get two workers because I can, you know, I have enough food to be able to do that, of course. And we might as well get uh, another person on that. And let's get three, actually. Let's get three workers because we are about to get another woodcutting base. Although, to be fair, I think it would probably be a much better idea to get storage or even a house. Yeah, we're going to need another house. Oh, no. This is... Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, I'm going to need my energy back faster, please. Okay, so we're just going to place this round about here. They're going to take a long time to get back here, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to have to build a road then, I suppose. Build it somewhere like that. Oh, oh this, is, this is bad, isn't it? Yeah, this is bad. Oh, when I started this, I thought to myself, mm, I'm going to do a lot better this time. Because that's the funny thing. I did actually play this before because I was thinking to myself, oh yeah, I'm going to play this and I'm going to see what I can do. And I actually uploaded a video about it. And then I realized, thanks to some people in the comments telling me about it, that the footage was completely unusable. Yes, completely unusable because it was just lagging and I had no idea that, that was the case because when I was looking at it editing it was perfectly fine so there must have been something wrong with the end product and uh, yeah that was really bad so I decided you know what okay I'm gonna record another one and we'll see how we do this time because I actually didn't do too badly I actually got to the later stages of the game uh, but you know how it is <laughs> sometimes uh, you know sometimes you're gonna do a little bit better next time potentially you know that might be quite fun so that's what we're gonna try to do here and hopefully oh, I really wish we had more energy yeah my energy regeneration is very very slow I am I'm needing to go out you know my archmage needs to go out so I think we're just gonna take him out now uh, we're gonna put a house round about here I'm just gonna try and spread out the houses a little bit more now as well and we're gonna go and try and see what we can do about this particular nest here as well because obviously there's a bunch of nests all around a bunch of basically they spawn enemies right they spawn enemies and you're going to need to try and rid the land of these things they are prey totems as you can see and aha look at that they actually want to murder us okay well that's very all very well and good but i'm not going to allow you to do that sir there we go let's just murder this fellow and we don't have enough energy at the moment unfortunately i did just level up and so that might actually make a bit of a difference. Yep, there we go. We actually survived. Wow. Okay, yeah. And as you can see, we have uh, one skill point remaining. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to wait until we have two skill points. And then I'm actually going to learn Fire Circle. I think Fire Circle is going to be very, very useful later on down the line. I think it's going to be super, super good. Okay, so we have two houses now. So, well, another house. So we have more, more workers coming in. So that's going to be really useful for us. Let's get some wood as we walk over here. I'm just going to destroy this as well. What is this? This is just a ruin. Not entirely sure if we actually want to destroy the ruin, but I'm going to do it just because I'm interested to see what actually happens. And it is just about to turn into nighttime. Well, not just about, but it's almost there. You know what I mean? All right. So yeah, apart from that, we're going to be building some more houses potentially. I should really save up the wood though. Ah, oh, you know. That's exactly my point. You've got to make these really, really tough decisions. And generally, I should not have built these lamps in the first night. I think that might have been a mistake. Because me doing that has just, I don't know, just kind of uh, bankrupted us in terms of, um, in terms of wood. Because I would have otherwise been able to build two extra houses, you see. And that's the reason. So I'm thinking, yeah, probably would have been a better idea to do it that way. I'm just going to continue killing some of this wildlife as well, because they actually do drop things that are extremely useful later on. For example, these hides right here that is used for crafting clothes. And clothes are very, very useful, as you might expect. What is this? A berry bush. OK, that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what the berry bush does, but whatever the case, I'm just going to put a healing circle down here to try and heal myself a little bit. As I said before, the healing circle is quite useful. 
And I'm going to try and gather this if I can. There we go. Let's gather that. And uh, then we're actually going to get... Oh, we, we oh, yeah, we can't do that. Okay. Just going to put another house round about here. And we'll get another worker when we can. And we'll put that on the little wheat farm here. And then hopefully all my people will be really, really pleased to eat some bread when the bakery is up and running. Because no doubt it will be up and running relatively soon. Delicious berries collected from the wilderness. Yes, yeah, so, well, that's going to be useful, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, producing charcoal is obviously going to be a big deal as well. So we are going to need to do that. And we need to build a uh, charcoal uh, smelter thing. Yeah, charcoal bel uh, belter, I was going to say. No, it's not a belter, that's for sure. Yes, indeed, it is a charcoal burner. So we're going to have to do one of those. However, the main problem I'm having right now is the fact that I actually do need another vegetable farm. As you can see, we actually don't have enough vegetables to be able to uh, sustain the amount of workers that I am currently summoning. So we're going to have to do something about that as well, which is a bit problematic. So... I, I kind of want to get the charcoal burner, but we need even more wood for that anyway, so... Ah, there we go. I actually just placed some berries in there, so maybe we don't even need that. I also placed meat and all that stuff too. So maybe we don't even need the extra vegetable farm, so I think we'll probably just put the, the charcoal burner right there. That should be fine, right? That should be fine. Okay, so we're just going to do a bunch of this. It is about to turn to nighttime, and we're just going to very quickly move my Archmage over here. There we go. And we're going to get some charcoal. Let's get, um, let's get, I don't know, 11 charcoal or something like that. It is going to require quite a bit to power these lamps, unfortunately. So uh, it's, it's a little bit problematic. But the cool thing about these lamps is that they do have this lamp aura that actually provides you the ability to weaken nearby enemies. And I've used this multiple times and it has been very effective. So that's something to bear in mind. Otherwise, apart from that, I should probably get a bakery whenever I can. Uh, so I need to get a carpenter first. That's probably going to be the most important thing. Or the stonemason. Yeah, maybe, maybe the stonemason would probably be good. I'm not entirely sure. Probably something like that. I mean, technically, I should really be getting a storage area. That is the thing that I should really get, all things considered. Because that literally would cut down our travel times significantly. So I'm thinking maybe we want to do that. Do we want to do that? I'm thinking yes, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I will probably do that then. Let me just send my little guy out here and, and just do a little bit of... A little bit of wood gathering while we can. And we're going to be attacked by more enemies this time around, as you might expect. So that's obviously going to be a little bit of a problem. Okay, here we go. Prepare yourself as undead rise from their graves to attack you. Yes, indeed. Okay, so storage, we're going to be placing that probably here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that, that saves them a huge amount of time, as you can see. So hopefully that's going to work out nicely. And there's there's the first undead coming. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to hit that. Yeah, there we go. Now, the wonderful thing about the enemies in this game as well is that you can activate them, if you know what I mean. You can actually make it so that they are reacting to you and get aggroed on you. So they will then chase you alone and they won't actually bother any of your citizens so you can pretty much just chill with them chasing after you instead of them you know murdering all of your villagers which is really quite nice we did have a robe drop from one of those undead minions as well which is actually very nice ah, unfortunately i missed that uh, that wonderful fireball there because this guy managed to strafe me at the last second but that's okay we're all good and what else can we do here Mm, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We currently do not have a lamp in this area, so I might need to build one. I don't really want to, all things considered, but I'm not sure. We might need to. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever the case, I'm just going to try and continue defending from the various enemies. Also, your villagers, once they're attacked, will actually run into the village hall which is actually pretty good. I think they them doing that is actually really nice. So, you know, they are going to protect themselves quite handily and you don't really need to be there as such. 
but it is going to really help you out a great deal. It is going to help you super, super hardcore amounts. So that is something to bear in mind. Okay, so I'm thinking... Uh, mm, yes, in the daytime, I really do need to expand operations here. I really do. I'm actually... I'm kind of thinking that I'll, you know, should I do some more wood gathering? I really want to, I really want to survive until day six. Because day six is when the, the demo ends, obviously. So I really want to do that. Let me see if I can just get this wood. There we go. And then we can actually attack this guy. He's attacking some of our vegetable farms. That is not very nice of you, sir. And uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see, he's just going to die very, very quickly. We actually have a, a, a new item that does increase our damage a little bit more as well so that's always nice and we got some more hp from that too okay here we go got some more enemies coming in let's just fire at that guy that's a that's a, a skeletal archer are you serious okay that's very funny all right and yeah i think we're gonna get a, a couple more yeah we're gonna get a couple more let's just shoot that guy uh, he's actually just ignoring me right now that's interesting Okay, now he's now he's attacking us. Okay. Usually they will just attack you, but obviously if you hit them with fireball, apparently they just don't care. You know, they're just going to ignore that unless you're in uh, in some kind of range with them or something like that. Maybe. Anyway, there we go. It is now day three. Perfect. All right. Okay. So storage. Guess I'm, should I get more storage or should I just forego it? Ah. Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna get more storage just because they can put it right there. These guys don't really need the storage. The uh, the stone stone people are uh, doing a fantastic job as it is. So I don't think we really need to do that. But we do need to get some more houses. However, we really do need to get a stonemason. So we will get the stonemason and we'll put it around about there. That seems like a decent a decent ish place, right? Decent ish place. Okay, so let me take a look at the map. Okay, so we've ba barely gone up here. So we're just going to go over there a little bit and explore that somewhat. And I should probably get... Yeah, I should probably get some more wood, shouldn't I? Oh, you know, it kind of makes me think I should have three woodcutters, to be honest. Because I'm constantly getting uh, bottlenecked by the lack of wood. So I'm thinking to myself, yes, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, this is maybe not the best of places. Yeah, no, this is not a good place to be. All right, let me just run away a little bit and then use my fire circle on these guys. There we go. Massive damage. Actually, not even massive damage. I'm surprised. I was actually thinking I'd get more damage out of that. The fire circle is not as good as I thought. Okay, that's, uh, that's a little bit sad, but it is AOE. So that's the thing you got to think about. You know, if you do it on multiple enemies... It's actually going to be quite strong. So, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be worth it. Maybe it's going to be worth it. Anyway, let me see if I can just destroy this. And as far as I'm aware, I think, I'm not sure if this is actually true, but I think if you actually end up destroying a lot of the surrounding, uh, surrounding, like, spawning areas, you actually do gain um a little bit of extra um not strength as such but you do gain a little bit of extra leeway when you actually come into the final area uh or should we say the final wave i could be wrong about that by the way so don't take don't take my word for it but i think that might be the case because otherwise it's just to level up your your archmage of course so that might actually be I guess kind of useful I guess so anyway we're just gonna take my guy back here and we're gonna see what the stonemason has for us so we're just gonna make I don't know 50 stone bricks or something like that and we should also get a carpenter carpenter's gonna be very useful it doesn't really matter by the way where you place these things no one needs to take stone to this place obviously it's just you know automatically there so that's fine that's really really nice and I only have 20 wood. Yeah, as I said, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like it's really, really harsh. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I'm going to build, yeah, so you need 20 wood for 10 planks. So I'm going to build, I'm going to build the planks because I would like to get a bakery. And I think I can get the bakery straight away if I do that. 
Am I correct in thinking that? Yes, I am correct in thinking that. Okay, so that's actually really, really nice. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. I'm just going to send my Archmage up here. And we're going to keep an eye on it. And then I can build a bakery. And then otherwise, apart from that, you're going to be able to build things like towers as well, as you can see right there. You can also build stone walls too. So you could try and, uh, you know, protect yourself however you like. And for me personally, I think the towers are probably the thing that I'm going to be going for. So all I really need to do is maximize the amount of woodcutters and stone cutters that I have. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll just get another woodcutter somewhere and that might actually make uh, the most difference. Oh, we're getting some wonderful stuff right here. Nice. Okay, good jewelry. I can actually take the golden amulet and salvage that, which might be useful. They just told me about salvaging. So that's pretty cool. And let me just try and hit that guy. There we go. And we're almost leveled up, which is going to get us full HP, by the way. Whenever your hero levels up, you do get full HP, which is always nice. And we almost have... Oh, we are not having enough planks. Unfortunate. Yep, we don't have enough planks. Okay, that's really bad. But yeah, whenever your hero levels up, you get full HP, but you do not get full energy, which in my opinion should probably be the case if they wanted to do that. In my opinion, I think that would probably be really, really useful and super nice. But obviously, you know, it would kind of incentivize you to, to get out there and, and try and level up just that much more because if you use your archmage for gathering it might be good to get full full energy because then it's uh it's actually kind of cool to level up and everything i don't know maybe that's just my own thoughts on it anyway i have eight okay come on now can i actually get more than that please okay well i'm gonna move down here and we're gonna see what else we can find as you can see, the corrupted area is now disappearing on the floor. Okay, there's another orc over here. I don't mean to bother you, Mr. Orc, but uh, I, I need you to leave this mortal plane. Thank you very much. There we go. And I think I'm probably going to take my, my person back now because he's a little bit too damaged. Okay, so we have... There we go. We have one more, one more plank being made, and then we can actually build the bakery. This is going to increase production speed which is going to be very, very useful. So we're just going to place that round about there. It doesn't really matter where we place it, of course. And there we have it. Okay, yeah. So, so far, things are not going too badly. However, I do need a another woodcutter. I think we can all agree on that. I do need another woodcutter. That's going to make all the difference in the world to us. And I should salvage this as well. That's going to give me one iron ore. Bear in mind that ore can be used at a smelter to give you iron bars or iron whatever. And basically what that can do is that gives you gunpowder. So you can see here, gunpowder, uh, you can make uh, spikes with it, as you can see. Enemies take damage when they walk over this and so on. So technically what you could do is if you're really, really good at this game and you know exactly where to go and you know how to retrieve the most resources possible, you could theoretically make a maze and then funnel units into that maze. And that could be really, really powerful. So that is something to bear in mind. There's also a ballista as well if you want to get that. Ballistas are um, planks mostly. So planks for me are, I think, maybe a little bit too... a little bit too expensive right now. But that is that is possible, as you can see. That is possible. If you wanted to do that, I am actually going to be getting another woodcutter over around here, I think. Maybe around here or something like that. I will get another woodcutter right away. Uh, can I do that around about here? Yeah, around about there. We're going to need another storage. Uh, actually, do we? Yeah, we need another storage area. We do need a storage area here. That is going to be extremely useful for us, actually. And let's take my Archmage over here while we still have a bit of daylight. And we need more houses as well. So yeah, houses. <laughs> houses, workers, houses, workers. We need a huge amount of them. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit problematic, isn't it? Okay, what is this? What is this over here? A skull on a spike. Well, that's not very nice of them, is it? Uh, it's an Orc War Totem. Okay, so this is an Orcish base. Bear in mind that every single faction enemy faction in the game 
has different stats and everything, and they're all, uh, you know, varying difficulties. So they're not all the same or anything like that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm actually just going to get a worker right away so we can get one started working on that. And we'll get another house, and we'll put the house uh, probably like here. I'm trying to make it so that the enemies will attack the houses first, rather than any of the production buildings, if at all possible. That's usually the way we do things around here, thank you. As they are the most useless buildings. You know, supply, uh, supply providing buildings are not that useful later on when you have all of your units already. You're just using your supply just to get those units. And more than likely, none of my villagers are actually going to die anyway. Or at least they shouldn't. Or at least I hope not. And uh, yeah, so that's something to bear in mind. Anyway, I'm just going to try and attack this werewolf here. He's moving real fast because I've sped up the game a little bit here. Okay, aha, hello. Oh, these are rats. Are you serious? Oh, okay, yeah. R rats, hilariously enough, are actually some of the most powerful enemy. Which is really, really weird. I wouldn't have expected that in a million years. But yeah, they are actually some of the the strongest unit that you're going to see. Which is very, very funny in my opinion. But yeah, that's how it is. Anyway, I'm going to build another storage area here. There we go, around about there. Because that's a, it's going to be good for our stonemason. And it's also going to be good for the woodcutter as well. Alright, so my archmage is now back here. And hopefully... We are going to get ready for the night time. Are we actually not doing too badly, I think? I mean, okay, here's the thing. It starts getting very dicey around day four. So night three is okay. They send, I think, one giant towards you. There is a zombie giant, yes. There is a zombie giant. It's going to be very scary. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, that is going to be a, a pretty big issue. But apart from that, we're then going to have uh, night four is when we have necromancers coming at us. And then night five is where things get really, really harsh. And they are literally going to just murder in almost every aspect. So that's going to be a, a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yes, that is going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, so we have 163. Let's actually start building some charcoal here while we can. It's going to cost three wood each. And here come the undead, as you can see. Ah, yes, wonderful. Hmm, I'm just going to put my fire circle there. It actually provides a little bit of illumination as well, which is pretty good. And you can see here that we're actually not even doing too badly. My fire circle is not that good, to be honest. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem that powerful, at least. Anyway, we've got a vegetable farm available. No, I don't want that. I would like to build a ballista if at all possible, or a tower, whichever one comes first. I think the tower is probably going to come first. So let's just go ahead and build one of those. I'm trying to... Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get two or three towers on each side. I know that's going to be extremely... Um, extremely costly... Uh, especially for the quarry. Oh, yeah. The quarry is going to be really, really hard up, isn't it? Okay. Mm. I'm going to need to get a an outpost, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so an outpost is very difficult to get, as you can see right here. You're going to need a tailor, and you're going to need a... Uh, hopefully not a smelter. Yeah, I might need a, might need a blacksmith and a tailor. Yeah, I'm going to need a blacksmith and a tailor. So that's going to be really, really harsh in itself. Uh, so I'm hopeful that maybe, I don't know. I don't, I think we will need it. I think we will need it. That's the problem. Yeah, ah, here we go. Ah, yes, here's the zombie giant that I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, this might be, that, this might be quite harsh. Or maybe not, actually. Might, may, may, maybe it's going to be okay. I'm just going to put a fire circle right there. So my tower is doing all right. And hopefully my tower is actually going to start helping me as well. There we go. It's actually... Oh, no. The zombie is actually attacking this thing. Oh, dear. Ah, it has been slain. Fantastic. Okay, let's just repair every building that we can for now. I am still full HP as we did level up just now. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, let's see. 
10 damage over 12 seconds. No, that's no, no, no. It's every second, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go for fireball here. I'm just going to go for fireball rank two. Not sure about fire circle, to be honest. I mean, I think it's good, but I don't think it is as good as the other thing. So yeah, at least my tower is over there. So the tower will look after all of these things. And we can actually build another tower right now as well. But I can't really in all good conscience do that. Can I? There's actually a bunch of stone here, so maybe we don't even need to. Huh. We might not even need to worry about expanding or anything like that. As you can see, my tower is doing fantastically. All right, yeah, we're going to build another tower around about here. Basically, as I said, we just want to try and build towers. We just want towers and towers and towers. We just want a bunch of those. So let's just get some more planks. And I would like to actually get some ballista if at all possible. So maybe what we want to do is we want to get the 10 planks and then put them into a ballista or something like that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. The tower is also AoE damage. I don't know whether you noticed that, but yeah, the tower is also AoE damage. So that's super nice. So that means that loads of enemies all clumped up in a bunch, they're just going to get murdered. So it's going to be really nice. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we got another tower there. And I'd like to get a ballista, so I think maybe that's what we'll do next. My charcoal is actually running quite nicely, surprisingly enough. So we're just going to walk over here with our mage. I'm actually just wondering whether we're going to get attacked one more time. That might happen. See, that's the thing. I'm always kind of thinking to myself, yeah, okay, yeah, we did get attacked. But as you can see, one of my towers took care of it. And I think that is indeed the next day. Okay, so that's perfect. Now we don't have to worry about that too much. So I'm just going to go over in this direction, I suppose. Oh, no, actually, never mind. We are actually being attacked once more. Oh, you. Ah, uh, you scoundrel. You absolute scoundrel. You're going to get You're going to get it. Not right now. Yeah, you're going to get it. There we go. He's out of there. Thank you very much. And now we can build a ballista. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to build a ballista around about probably here. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, round about there. I, that's the thing. you got to be a little bit careful because obviously, look at this. This is a mountain, right? So because we're up against the mountain, it makes it extremely, extremely difficult for enemies to actually even get around that area. So it's... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's actually pretty good, you know, that, that's actually a pretty good place to spawn because they can't come from the right, really. I mean, they have to go around the, the mountain to be able to do that. So that's actually really nice. We've got a bunch of stone now, so I'm thinking we're going to get another 20 stone bricks. That's going to cost me, uh, yeah, quite a lot. But that's fine. We're just going to continue walking around with our little mage here. And hopefully we'll get a helmet and some other things in the meantime. Who's that? That guy has a... That guy is an Orc Berserker. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, that's a hero unit, if ever I saw one. I'm actually just going to run away from this guy. And we're just going to... Oh, no. You better come back here, sir. You better come back here. I'm going to kill your friend in a second. Come on, now. Okay, apparently he doesn't want to do that. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, rusty sword. All right, give me that. Okay, yeah, now he's coming back. Okay, I'm going to use my fireball, finish him off. There we go. And, ooh, look at that. They gave me a staff of nature. Fantastic. That is wonderful. Definitely want this. Okay, there we go. That is perfect. Let's get some wood here. And we got, we'll just continue. We'll just continue walking around. You never know what's going to happen. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, oh, rats. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you think in every RPG they go, hmm, some rats are in my basement. I need you to deal with them. Yeah, the rats in this game, yeah, they don't mess around. They will absolutely murder you. So be careful, be careful. All right, so let's have a look-see here. Okay, I can build another ballista. I guess I will do that. I mean, that's going to be pretty good for a variety of things. So let's do it. Why not? And how are we doing otherwise? I feel like we're not doing too badly. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> not doing too badly, he says. I mean, I don't know. I think, I mean, look at this. This is, oh, this is pretty terrible, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is, this is really bad. Okay, I guess I could actually put the spikes around about here next to the tower. So when they step on the spikes, they take double damage or something like that. Technically, they, I, I could do that, I guess. 
Hmm. Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll do it. I mean, <laughs> I don't really have any other way to do it. Uh, technically, I need a, an outpost to be able to expand. So what I need to do is I need to build a tailor, like I said. I need to build a tailor. And uh, yeah, a barracks would also be really useful too um, to get some archers. So I'm thinking, yeah, we're probably going to save up now. We're going to save up our, um, our resources to be able to do that. And I'm actually just going to move my Archmage over here. Let's try and speed things up a little bit. It does speed up the game itself. So obviously time is dramatically increased. Okay, we're just going to destroy these. These are relatively easy. I actually now have the Staff, which provides me with more ability damage, which is amazing because, as you can imagine, ability damage with upgraded Fireball, for example, is just so good. It's really, really powerful. So we're just going to destroy this here as well. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to get some more stone bricks. Uh, obviously, my stone bricks are almost done. Let's just build another 10 of those. We'll get another 10 of these, 20 of these. Why not? And we can actually upgrade this. Really? Can we? I don't think so. Somehow, I don't think so. I think we're going to need uh, you're going to need like iron or, or something like that or planks or a lot of planks to be able to upgrade that or something. Not entirely sure, but there you go. All right. Ooh, what did we get here? Oh, ability damage, hit points, energy. Okay. Um, yeah, this is actually better. Maybe gives me more energy. So I'm thinking, yeah, why not use more energy? I can always use more energy. Thank you very much. Okay. So let me just move around here. I want to kill these moose because they do actually provide hides. The moose are very important. Actually, hides are very important. In fact, the, oh, this is a, Okay, hello. This is an actual undead spawning area. So we might be really having a, a, a bit of an issue. Actually, not even that much of an issue, to be honest. If I came here at full strength, I'd actually probably have a pretty easy time of things, but I am not full strength. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, destroying the base before you destroy the enemies there is actually much, much harder than you might think. All right, so we're getting over to day four in just a second. I need to build the barracks, so let me build that. Let's build it around about there, I guess. doesn't really matter where we build it. Uh, I need to make sure that I don't get my, my guy killed. Uh, we drop some furs. Going to just snipe that moose. There we go. Nice and easy. And we should probably go over here as well. See if I can maybe take care of business here. Are these rats? No, no. These are these are undead of some kind. Okay. That's absolutely fine. As you can see, my fireball does so much damage. Oh, nice. We've got some iron boots. Okay, absolutely perfect. That is really, really nice. If my energy could actually regenerate back to full H... Well, full HP. If it could actually regenerate to full then I would be really, really pleased. But unfortunately, that is seemingly not happening right now. I don't know why it isn't, but we're getting really unlucky with that. So yeah, because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously constantly in battle. That's the reason why I actually said to you earlier that I would like to see level ups actually provide the Archmage with full energy, because if it has full energy from level ups, then you can actually start doing stuff a little bit more aggressively potentially and that really makes a huge difference okay so i can't really do much about these spiders i'm gonna have to run away from them they're way too damaging it's it's really funny because rats and spiders are apparently super super strong for some reason but yeah they are anyway my archmage is fine and we're gonna actually be building some bows i'm actually gonna be getting two bows in actual fact and then we can get two archers Archers are actually really good in my opinion, so they're really useful. Oh yeah, by the way, the reason why you might want to be taking your Archmage out of the base, because technically you could just leave your Archmage there if you wanted to, if you didn't want to level it up or anything like that, if you just wanted to focus on the city building aspect. But now here's the thing, to build military units or any unit, you're going to need mana orbs. And mana orbs are from enemy units. So whenever you defeat an enemy, uh, enemy unit, you're going to have mana orbs drop from them. And that is, that is what they're going to be for. Um, so yeah, so for example, I can get healer. As you can see right here, I can get a healer because I actually got a robe drop, which is super, super nice. And that actually allows us to heal injured units, which is very important. 
And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two archers and we will probably get one healer if I can. Because um, that's really going to make a huge difference to our overall survivability with our archers especially. And we should probably do a little bit of smelting here with all of that other stuff. That's all the iron ore that we have right there too. All right, uh, let me just repair everything. Uh, let me see my defensive structures. Okay, I don't have anything that I can actually build right now, which is really, really sad. So let's actually just build a couple of these. Let's get some more stone bricks as well. And how much do we have left? 465. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I mean, we, we, we should be okay, right? We should be okay. I mean, I have a ballista over here, which is reaching to this point. I just don't have anything on this side. This is the main issue right now. So, just going to speed everything up for the moment. Let's get another house. And I think maybe... Do we want another house? No, I don't think we need another house, do we? No, I don't think so. I think we can probably just chill here. I don't think we really need to worry too much about things. But you never know. Things can happen really badly. Things can happen really badly. Okay, so we've got our two archers, as you can see. We've got our two archers right here. And the healer is now being trained as well, which is very nice. And I don't have any more mana orbs. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to get anyone else, even if I wanted to. And now we're going to see what happens. Okay, I have a ballista available. So, I guess what I'm going to do is I will build the ballista around about here. I hope the ballista actually fires by itself, because I don't even know whether it does, by the way. I've never used the ballista before, so that's going to be kind of interesting. I hope it actually fires um, past um, past buildings. I hope it pass, you know, shoots, through, th shoots through buildings. I'm not entirely sure if it does. So yeah, there's the healer. Let's just have the healer run away, please. Thank you very much. Don't really want it to get murdered. There's the skeleton over there. We're just going to snipe that a little bit. There we go. And we're just going to put these all on the same keybind. Because you can actually do that. You can keybind units if you want to. And uh, the only thing you can't do is keybind buildings as far as I can tell. And I personally would like to keybind the various buildings that can get you things. So for example, the, uh, the blacksmith and the barracks and your town center and the stonemason and the carpenter, all those things. I'd like to be able to keybind those. But there could actually be a keybind potentially that I'm not aware of that actually does provide you with the ability to do that. So um, don't don't quote me on that or anything. Anyway, we're just going to send our forces over here. They're actually going to get murdered. Nice. Perfect. And uh, we should probably get another lamp over there, to be honest. But I don't have enough wood to do that, of course, because I'm building so many planks. So that's also a thing. Yeah, and we just built another another tower over here too, which is really nice. Okay, let me just... Aha, uh -huh, hello, we're getting attacked once again. Okay, I think I actually need to get a ballista over here somewhere. And we probably want to get a house over here too. That is going to be very, very important, I think. Yeah, that is going to be very important. Because if we can get a house over here, it's basically going to make it so that enemies will attack the house. And then my towers and so on and so forth can actually just do free damage. And we don't have to worry about it. So that might be something for us. Anyway, there's a boss coming. Nice little, uh, nice little uh, giant boss right there. And as you can see, it's just getting absolutely chunked because we have, um, we have two archers, the archmage, ballista, tower, all fighting at once. It's really quite amazing. Love, love seeing that. Unfortunately, enemies are coming from this direction. Obviously, the woodworker is really, really close by, which is not very good. But yeah, you can see here the tower is doing some damage. Oh, hello. This is a necromancer. Okay. Yes, this is the necromancer that I was talking about. They are now coming in. They're going to be doing some damage. And thankfully, my archers are being healed by the healer, which is great. And all of my other people are also being healed, which is also great. And hopefully, I'm just going to be able to protect all of our workers and everything. And we're going to be fine. Uh, yeah, there we go. Dead. Wonderful. There we go. There's another one. Oh, nice. Look at that. We actually got a, a helmet. Wow, this is the first time I've actually gotten a helmet, which is really good. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're being attacked over here very, very heavily. 
So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to get a ballista or something like that over here. Probably a tower, actually, all things considered. So we're not actually building any more stone bricks right now because we just don't have any stone. So, yeah, that's not very good, is it? No, that is not very good. Okay, I'm just going to try and repair all of the buildings that I have available now. And we'll just move over here. I mean, that's the thing. Last wave, all these buildings are going to get destroyed, right? All these buildings are going to get destroyed. So generally, you want to try to make sure that you have as many defensive structures as possible. I'm, I'm talking about towers, ballistas, and so on and so forth. At least that is my interpretation of everything. I personally prefer to work like that, but obviously you don't have to. You could technically go for an outpost if you're really, really good at it. You could go and get an outpost. You could go and try and find a silver ore vein. Uh, silver ore veins are not actually that difficult to find as far as I can tell. But for me, I wasn't really able to find one this time around. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe I just missed it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did run across one, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I didn't, didn't actually see one this time around. But yeah, apart from that... As you can see, my towers and the ballista over here are absolutely just murdering everything. So it's really, really nice. And I think I'm going to build another ballista around about, uh, around about here, I think. There we go. That's actually perfect because that covers both this side and this side over here. So if one of these towers or this building gets attacked, then this ballista will be covering every direction, which is very good. And there we go. It is now uh, now daytime. Now daytime. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Now it's daytime. Okay, wonderful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to run off. And we're going to try and do some damage to the various enemies in the area. This is going to be very easy now, by the way. Because as soon as you have some kind of military presence. And it doesn't really matter which military presence. As long as you have some military presence, you're going to be really, really strong. As you can see right here, I can literally just go anywhere I want and I can probably win most battles without any problems at all because my archers do a lot of damage per second. My healer is just healing me. And as you can see, they're actually telling us about building an outpost. And uh, that's something to bear in mind. You know, you do need to build outposts near the iron ore vein so that you can actually gather it because you can't build any of these other mining uh, facilities outside of your own territory so that's the the main issue there I'm just going to go into this little territory here this is a bit problematic isn't it uh yes mm. okay well we're just going to destroy that real fast there we go and then we'll just get off the corrupted ground as i said before it is all corrupted so you've got to be very careful about that okay so we're just going to slow things down real fast now and we're just going to be building another ballista We'll build another ballista around about... I don't even know where to build it right now, to be honest. I'm thinking we'll probably just build it here. Seems decent enough. We can build another one, actually. So, we'll probably build one next to the other one here. And then we're just going to build more stone bricks. Let's just get another 40 of those. And we'll build some more wooden planks as well. And we'll just try to get those out of here by the night time i don't think we're going to be able to do it to be honest i don't think i'm going to have enough time to be able to do it but who knows maybe we'll be able to that would be nice okay i'm coming back for you rats yeah look at these guys now they're just evaporating before us very nice indeed and we got an another orc here as well so we obviously want to deal with that and then hopefully we'll be good there we go Yes, you can see here, this is the reason why rats are really difficult to deal with. Can you imagine attacking this by yourself? Because the rats actually spawn so incredibly fast that they actually appear before you have even shot once, basically. So if you're by yourself, that is, that's what happens. So we want to be a bit careful about that. Oh, we actually got a bow. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we got a bow. So that means that I actually will be able to hire another... Um, another archer which would be pretty fantastic actually so i'm thinking we're probably going to go and do that let me just walk on here this is very risky to do don't really want to do that too much can i please pick that up thank you all right yeah so we're just going to move on 
And I haven't done too badly hmm. with exploring the uh, exploring the map at least. But uh, yeah, maybe I could have done better. I don't know. I mean, that's the point. We've got a lot of defensive structures. I think we we need more. By the way, I, I know it, it may seem like we don't have a you know we we have too many, but I feel like we need more of these. So I'm thinking we're going to build another ballista roundabout here. And uh, yeah, we're going to just take our guy back over here because we need to give this to the uh, the main area so that we can actually get an archer trained. And that's what we're going to do. And technically we could, do, we could get a spearman if we wanted to. Maybe a spearman would actually be kind of useful, but he has... Only 450 HP. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the Paladin. As you can see, here's the Paladin. It literally does 40 DPS. Has 1,000 health. Yeah. Has 1,000 health. It is insane. Uh, it wears armor, can penetrate armor, and also has corruption resistance. In other words, it doesn't take damage from the corrupted ground. So all of these things all add up into an absolutely incredible unit. And highly recommended to get that if you are... Um, so inclined if you do have the silver that you need and I'm actually wondering did I come across any silver I'm gonna just have a look and see whether I came across some because if I did and I didn't take advantage of it I'm gonna kick myself is that silver right there that might be stone yeah that's most likely stone generally what you're gonna see is you're gonna see one silver or vein just one you're not gonna see more than one and that's going to be the thing that you're going to need to try and covet as much as possible. And it doesn't seem like I'm actually seeing anything right now. So, yeah, that seems to be that seems to be it to be honest. I I think we're we're probably done. If we are going to survive, then we're going to survive and if we don't, then we don't. So, uh, there you go, you know? I mean, th this is where the uh, the brutal the brutal attack is going to come. So we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited actually to see what happens because we are much stronger than I was before because uh, when I was playing this before, as I said, I really had no idea what was going on. I was, uh, you know, woefully unprepared for the uh, inevitable, extremely strong attack that was incoming. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very different now. It's very, very different now. In fact, I am actually now in a situation where I feel like maybe I can even uh, maybe I can even achieve something, you know, maybe I'll be able to achieve victory. So we're just going to take everyone back here. Obviously, I do have my other archer here, too. And we're going to try and get those guys over here. And we can build another tower as well. So we will build another tower. We're going to build that around about here, I guess. And can we build another one? No, we cannot. Idle workers? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're now having an idle worker issue because there is only one stone vein remaining, as you can see right there. So that is obviously a problem. But if you were going to go a little bit further, and if you're going to go further than day six or, you know, night of day five, whatever you want to call it. If you're going to go further than that, then you would probably be aiming to build an outpost. But as it stands right now, for me, I'm not going to be doing that because I'm obviously in a situation where this is game over. You know, this is the, this is the end, basically. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it this way. Uh, otherwise, I'm wondering whether this is going to be a weak side, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be a really weak side. So I'm actually going to go for this. Let's get some more charcoal up and running as well because we need it. Uh, I have enough wood to be able to build that. Uh, we should probably build another lamp as well. Let's build one probably here. Let's build one there. And we'll build one over here as well, I guess. There we go. All right. So that is looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good. I am very ready to defend and let's see what happens i'm very excited so let's see all right my lamps are coming back on as we are getting our charcoal up and running and bear in mind that the, that the lamps do have that activatable aura it does cost three charcoal but that is sometimes worth it as you can see my towers are defending very very nicely surprisingly nicely in fact and my units are now going to go over there. Obviously, my healer is going to stay in the back line. Going to do a very good job. 
Look at that. Wow. Actually, surprisingly easy to defend against these so far. Super, super surprised, in fact. All right. Not bad. And, aha, yes, now we've got our necromancers coming in. All right, as you might expect, they are going to be quite difficult for us to deal with. Possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're actually going to be easier than we think. Yeah, actually, they're not, uh, they're not, they're not proving to be that difficult. I'm just going to use a fireball or two here. Nice, okay. Okay, yeah, they're attacking our tower. That's okay. Uh, this is... Oh, ruby footpads. They could be useful. Okay, the, uh, yeah, I, I don't know whether I should even bother with um, picking up items at this point either. It feels to me like that might be a, uh, a, a bit of a waste of time, you know what I mean? I don't really want to pick up items when I could be doing something else, you know? Okay, wait a minute. That's a wonderful head. Okay, I'm going to go and get that. That is much better than what I currently have. So it would be good if I could pick that up, please. Can you pick that up, sir? There we go. Nice. Yes, there we go. Okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, the, the, that uh, th those feet are actually looking really good too. All right. Ooh, this is, this is bad. Okay, let's get a nice little fire ring going on there. Okay, these are literal giants and they're going to do massive damage. So we need to destroy these as fast as we can. Okay, my hero leveled up, which is always good. And we actually destroyed everyone. Wow, that was really, really nice. Unfortunately, they destroyed one of my houses, so I'm actually going to be building another house. Let's get another firing out. Let's get another fireball going on there. Okay, so what do we have? This is a robe. Gives me more healing. I guess we're going to go for the robe. It is slightly better than what I had on. There we go. Okay, I didn't pick up anything else right there, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, so we're just going to heal our other structures as we can. Kill that necromancer, please. Okay, wait a minute. Are we not getting... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Ah, yes, we've got some issues coming over there. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to repair these things. We have barely any wood because some of my wood supply uh, places have been actually attacked. So, yeah, as you might expect, that's pretty bad. But my ballistas are doing a great job. So the only thing I can hope for is that that's going to be enough. But you can imagine, I mean, you see how many enemies are actually coming in comparison to the previous nights, right? So you can imagine that me... Doing this before, I had basically no defenses whatsoever. I think I had two towers. Yeah, I had two towers total. And you can imagine how incredibly useless that was. I was really, really surprised that there were so many enemies. But yeah, that um, that was a thing. That was a thing. Okay, so I'm almost on uh, almost on day six. Almost on, actually on day six. I mean, technically, it's still night uh, night five right now because we are still being attacked. But if I can actually survive this, I will be very, very pleased. Because that is a um, that is a difficult thing to do, apparently. That is a difficult thing to do. So I would very much like to try and succeed at this, if at all possible. Uh, I should have built more defenses over here, to be honest. This would have been a, a good thing to do. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and lure them over here to where the ballista is. Just going to try and attack and then lure them. Attack and then lure them. There we go. Yeah, but you can see here, look, look at how many enemies there actually are. There's an insane amount of enemies coming in. Thankfully, I have a lot of ballistas in this area, so that's actually really, really good. And I got a tower as well. And I mean, you can see here, look at how much damage we're actually able to do. It's really quite good. I mean, we might even be able to achieve victory with this, to be honest. Because I have just placed my ballistas and towers in random locations. And that has actually made all the difference in the world, I think. Because even though we've lost a ballista over here, we might be able to do something over in this direction. Can we? Can we do something? Kill that necromancer, please. There we go. Take him out. There we go. Okay, come on. Can we get a little bit more done? We might be able to. Unfortunately, all my woodworking has been completely nullified. But it is it is daytime. Look at this. It is now daytime. Look at that. Okay, so we actually made it. Can you believe it? 
Wow. Yeah, look at that. We did it. No more enemies. No more enemies. And we are absolutely fine. As you can see. Well, I mean, not absolutely fine. I mean, I, actually, we are absolutely fine. Seems like my workers did not get absolutely eliminated. So there you have it. We actually did it. We survived until day six. And uh, that's technically uh, that, well, that's, as, that's as long as you can you can technically play as far as I'm aware. So there you go. We actually did it surprisingly enough. I'm wow. Yeah, I'm I'm very, very happy that we were able to do that. All right. So um, I'm actually not entirely sure what happens now, because the last time that I did this. I, uh, as I said, I, I lost because we lost on that particular wave. You know, there were just so many enemies, very difficult to survive against so many of those. Uh, but yeah. Oh, oh, hello. What's this? An orc warlord. Okay. Hello there. Hello there, sir. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just leave you alone real quick. Can I actually, can I actually beat this? No way. Not in a million years. Okay. Yeah. Not, no way. Okay. What is this? Oh, just a ruin. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why I'm attacking that. Okay, let's just go back to the Orc Warlord. Maybe we're actually going to be able to do something against him. Yeah, no, he's regenerating. Okay, but yeah, there's Orc Treasure there as well. So as you can see, that's obviously going to be extremely useful for you. Okay, well, uh, we have low food right now. I'm actually kind of surprised that we have low food. Why do we have low food? I'm not sure why we have low food. My people should actually be working on that right now. Let me just repair some of our damage structures just in case that is affecting our workload or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Well, whatever the case, I'm going to actually... Yeah, my workers are not actually doing anything. Some of them are completely idle because I just don't have any additional structures for them to work at. So, for example, I don't have a quarry. I don't have two... Uh, well, I do have two woodworking outposts. So, technically, that's fine, but... Yeah, most of the places I don't actually have available right now. So that's obviously a bit of an issue, isn't it? Yeah, uh, we could get a bakery. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's build the bakery. Did I already build it? Oh, I already built the bakery. Are you serious? Okay, I already built the bakery and I didn't even build any of this. Oh, are you serious? Wow, I am an absolute imbecile. Oh, well, never mind. It's it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's not that big a deal, is it? No, it's not that big a deal. All right, so I'm just going to build another ballista around about there, even though I probably should have built one over here instead, but... You know me. I didn't even build any, I didn't even make any bread. You know, I didn't even make any bread. All right. Well, we're just going to speed things up real fast because I'm probably going to die in the next um, in the next night. So, you know, I'm just going to speed things up and we'll see what happens. So technically, what you could do is you could pick up all this stuff and then you could literally just salvage it. And uh, you could gain a lot of iron ore for that. And if you built a smelter, which I don't have the ability to make right now because obviously I don't have any way to uh, get stone because uh, I only have... I have 205 stone remaining, so technically it is possible, but I don't know why I would bother, to be honest, at this point because, as I say, you can't do more than what I've already done according to the demo itself. And you obviously can play this demo right away if you so desire. You can play this right now. And uh, that is available through the link in the description. So highly recommended to check it out. And uh, otherwise, apart from that, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. So we'll see what happens as the day runs out. And I have obviously leveled up. So technically, I could go for another bit in Fire Circle. I guess we'll just do another, another rank in Fire Circle or something like that. That sounds like a pretty decent idea, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, I'm actually wondering what's actually going to happen now. Are we just going to get attacked by an overwhelming enemy of some kind? I'm going to assume yes, or the demo is just going to end. Either one. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what will actually happen. But yeah, I just cannot believe that I didn't build any bread. I mean, really, didn't bake any bread. Ah, that is just terrible because bread actually is really good. Because as you can see, workers consume it to gain a huge work bonus. So that would have been absolutely amazing. But uh, yeah, I didn't do that because I am I am wonderful and absolutely amazing. Yeah, that uh, that just didn't work. Okay, so the undead are actually rising. I actually wonder what they're going to throw at us. Okay, yeah. Just, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just massive, massive amounts of necromancers and all that wonderful stuff. I 
don't think I'll be able to do anything here, but I could go for an aura here, I suppose. I could go for an aura over here as well if I wanted to. Yeah, that's that's a lot of necromancers right there. Yeah, but my ballistas are actually doing surprisingly well. Uh, I could build another one even. Yeah, I can build another one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Look at that. Giants with a thousand HP each. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I showed you the paladin earlier, right? So the paladin actually has a thousand HP and these giants have a thousand HP. So you can imagine how much, you know, how much that actually is. That's, that's pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to heal ourselves right here. Just going to use Fire Circle while we can. I actually leveled up once again, which is really nice. My Archmage is actually level 10. Who would have thought it? And there you go. We did it. We survived until day 7. Actually, really quite amazing. I, I think maybe I could have done more. Maybe I actually could have done more, but I'm pretty happy with uh, surviving as long as I did. And otherwise, if you'd like to check out Darfall, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.